Thank you so much for being here with me, Brandy at Back to One. Uh, today we're gonna do a little bit different. We are gonna do elements. Um, I have already done the air signs and the water signs. So if you are any of those and your moon rising, or your rising, your moon, or your sun sign, if you don't know what those are, I totally suggest that you do a natal chart that is also linked in the uh, description box below. So um, if you're here, it's because uh, you needed the message now. This is a timeless message. So um, <clears throat> I've asked to give you a message and here we are. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, we are gonna do the air or the fire signs. So this is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with, let's go ahead and get started with the Aries. Hope you guys are doing great. Let's see what affirmation. The Aries fire element for the collective back to one this timeless message. What do they need to hear from themselves when they find this video? <clears throat> okay. Clarity, Aries. Okay, so stopping to listen to my inner self, I can easily separate my intuition from my mental chatter. The clarity of my intuition is a sweet, simple fruit that tastes familiar. In the mental chatter is confusing bitter red that I shall peel off and chuck into the garbage oh yeah get rid of that shit <laughs> is there any other affirmation that the Aries need for this amazing deck and this timeless message for the fire signs for the collective back to one anything else from this amazing affirmation for the Aries Okay, Aries. Let's see what else we got here. And of course, since you have to read the affirmations to yourself, um, I post those in the description box below also. <clears throat> if your subconscious hears it come from your voice and you're reading it, then you're putting it into more than just the reality of hearing me say it and you saying yes or something. So what kind of, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. Beautiful card is the Aries need for this fire energy, fire element. Reading, back to one collective and this is message for the Aries to go clarity. Okay, so, There's two people in this mirroring each other. There's like fear of losing control. And there's a lot going on. And it may feel like you, there's lack of help. And there's scattered energy, okay? So um, maybe there's two of you that's scattered and there's just a lot going on. Let's see what else we can get from the deck. Can you give us any other cards with these beautiful Lovers. Okay, so this is a Gemini energy. This is a choice. This. Okay, so we have. This is cool. Okay. So there's a motherly energy. There is a lot going on. And this is a Leo energy. This is a Capricorn energy. This is a Leo energy. This Leo, this um, Knight of Wands, this is also feeling adventurous or um, not seeing because her eyes are closed. She might not be seeing um, that something might be dangerous. Okay, 
so it could be a few different things with those. Let's see, I clarify for these three beautiful cards. I just thank you. Another Gemini energy planning it. This king, as you can see, is a female, so it doesn't matter. Um, sexes. It's the king of swords is planning and strategizing. Maybe that will totally help your scattered energy, okay? Let's see what else. Anything else for the Aries from this beautiful deck? For the Aries, fire element. The Aries, for the Aries, please. So there's like sharing activities, there's a form of celebration. Aries, you got your own damn card. Okay, so the emperor taking your, like the command, your power is ready for command when like you're ready to command your power. Earthy spiritual blend, but this is like a Sagittarius energy. This is like you're not bound to the mud vein unless you choose to be. So the saying like even though we're in isolation, like you can still have positive outlets during this time. <clears throat> yeah, look at this. I didn't even I just seen this. You got the world card. So um I feel like it's telling you like you guys need to get out. Like this is a lover's, like this is like a, I feel like you guys need to get out or something, let's see. Bottom of the deck, the hermit card, let's see. <laughs> the new beginnings, okay, so you guys are experiencing a new beginning. <gasps> the judgment, like you've already taken the step that's led you to your current place, okay? You, you guys have walked to this place together the fucking tower card change is here okay nothing is as it ever has been like everything is supposed to be as it is okay um change it doesn't have to be scary okay this is more capricorn energy this is the double energy this is um you know releasing yourself from bondage just sucking the life out of you Capricorn energy. You're teaching somebody how to love you by the way you love yourself. The death card. Okay, so the death card is Awaken Reborn. This is a Scorpio energy, but this is um, not to hold on to who you used to be. Don't hold on to who you used to be. The the hermit is Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck. If that means anything to anybody. Look, as soon as you do that rebirth, you're on your way to your goal. Like you're so close to your goal. I feel like you're so close to your goal. yeah you're expanding your career skills you're you're doing something new you're like a this is like a apprenticeship oh my god and this one is flying too that's cool okay so this is like a um, get creative to the outlet like um, creative outlets to your curiosity You need to bounce and multitask it. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Aries, you got so many cards. All right, let's see what badass rebel card they can bless us with with the cards that lay before us. For the collective of back to one with this fire element, timeless video. What badass rebel cards do the Aries need? The cards that lay before us. Look at this. I just got this too. Okay, so 
<laughs> the Hermit card is also the card of clarity. They are seeking solitude to see their way more clearly. They have the light. She, her candle is lit. She's, she's not in the dark. Maybe you're giving up an addiction. It's not saying you're gonna die. It says you're gonna have success after you conquer, after you wake, um, after you have the rebirth. By teaching others how to love yourself by loving how you love yourself. If you want healthy relationships, you gotta have you gotta be healthy minded and drugs um, and just just double energy period. Oh yeah, you're going through a lot of shit. It says everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather up your tired ass and handle it, okay? Woo! Aries don't like being told what to do. <laughs> what what else is this badass rebel deck? Okay, thank you. Woo! Thank you. Woo. Thank you. Alright, so we'll do these first. Oh yes, get the fuck out of your head and get in your heart. It misses you. Oh, fucking apologize. Just do it, Aries. I may, maybe that's why there's like a separation and these two people and they're just mirroring each other. Fuck fear. It's going to lie to your face. And whatever you're thinking about doing, now is not the fucking time. So that clarity is going to help you. Fuck fear. Fucking apologize. And get the fuck out of your head. Don't do that. Don't do what you was just thinking about doing. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much, Aries. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you've gained the utmost clarity. Let's see here. We have a lot of major arcanas, but no repeating numbers. So I just wanted to check that real quick. Thank you so much, Aries, for being here. I greatly appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Hello, Leos. Let me get there all put away. Let me get Aries all put away here. we're gonna go ahead and get started if you found this video it's because I've asked for you to be here um, this is a timeless video so whenever you find it this is when you need the message hopefully you gain the utmost um, guidance from uh, myself and our, my beautiful deck so um, here we go Leo's thank you so much for being here and being part of the fires tribe Affirmations to set up Leo's needs to hear from themselves when they find this video. What's what will help them most? What affirmation will help them most for when they find this video? Ooh, Leo's, we got confidence and love. That is amazing. So everything that I'm reading to you, I am going to post down below so that you can read it to yourself. That way you're putting it more out to the universe than just hearing me say it to you and saying yes or something. So uh, love, 
Love is a many splendid thing. Today I would notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors, like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent, or the surge of self-congratulations I feel when I sink a three-point trash basket shot on the first try. Or how about the chills I get when I'm singing along to your favorite song, okay? Confidence. In this moment, I take a step back and I look at myself with pride of a good mother. I see an abundance of abilities, talents that show up all the time in big and little ways. If I could stick myself on the refrigerator, I would. I would invite all the neighbors over and say, look at that, can you believe what an A plus that is? That's so damn cute. Congratulations, Leos. You guys are bright like the sun. Don't forget that if you're feeling dark. I think Leos are the... I just love how you guys walk with your regal chest. Okay, so beautiful cards. Do the Leo's need for this fire element? Timeless video for the collective back to one. For the Leo's. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Leo's. Ooh, we have. Um, the King of Pentacles. As you can see, the King of Pentacles is a female, so there's like no sex, like it's just king or queen. We both, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So this is going at something with a practical mind, but like mind over heart, okay? Like you have to go, um, <laughs> and pay attention to details, okay? This is a seven of discs. Pay attention to the details. Those are spider webs back here. Hopefully you can see that, but look at this. Because when you do, you're on your way to success. This is a success card, so let's get it. Oh my gosh, you guys, Leos, what you got going on? All right, let's see here. Yes, we have a form of communication. This could be epiphanies, this could be spiritual downloads. This could be actually talking, maybe even telepathically, because you guys are so magical. The Four of Swords. Okay, so maybe you're healing. All right, this is a meditation, a rest card. Um, even if you're in pain, like know you're gonna heal. These beautiful cards that live before us. Wow, I just seen this. They count six, seven, eight, if that means anything to you. That's amazing. Okay, so with the we have the ace of cups. This is like a loving heart. This is like confirmation of like the cup is full. Get creative with your curiosity. Especially right now, so many people's in isolation. Totally try and tap into uh, your your creativeness. Leo's, are you mess? Is there a Capricorn in your? Is there a Capricorn in your life? Oh, ooh. You have the Ten of Pentacles. This is financial victory, success. She is getting off the carousel. She's doing her own thing. Ooh, this is also a Leo energy. So that's adventurous Leo energy. Holy cow, another 10. This is faded. Quit struggling, okay? Quit struggling. This is faded. The financial victory is faded because there's miracles. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you guys. There's miracles in the works, okay? Don't be giving away your power. Don't be giving away your power. That could also be this, this you know, this devil energy, she, she's lifeless, okay? So this sometimes this card is like cutting away that 
what's um, draining us. It could be addictions. It could be um, codependency. It could be um, just just terrible situations because it's the devil energy. It's not a specific person, but um, we have isolation. So totally, totally uh, get creative with this. Yeah, totally get creative with this because you have the, the financial victory, fate, miracles. Sometimes the universe forces us in the isolation so we can um, so we can do that for ourselves. Okay, let's see what badass rebel card for the fire element. Timeless Leos. Go with love and confidence. Woo! Okay. Ooh, get some sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face the pillow. <laughs> Is there any other badass rebel card to go for the Leos? In this timeless video. shit's about to get real fuck you need your people around anything else from this badass rebel deck that doesn't mean a negative way you don't have to make it a negative way because you have um one two three four you have four Four really positive cards, you guys. Okay. <gasps> guys, Leos. Oh my goodness. You guys got double love. You need to get some and give some. <gasps> it's going to cheer you up. Take a nap. Take a nap. Say some I am affirmations. Like, I am sexy. I am. I am a ray of fucking sunshine. <laughs> I am successful. I am creating financial freedom. I am no longer giving away my power. I mean, there's so many. I love affirmations, so. Oh my gosh, this is even a sign of, of um, success. So, wow. If you're going towards someone, Leo, I say that you have some really great chances. You just have to go at it. Pay attention to the detail. Uh, with the, since there's the king, he's super serious. He's already, he's grown from a prince to a king, so. Go at it with a loving heart. <laughs> you guys i love you guys thank you so much for being here i hope that you've gained the utmost oh my gosh look at this eight nine ten six seven eight wow leos super magical those angel numbers will also be in the links below for you guys to with your affirmations um, thank you, thank you so much for being here with me. I'm so happy to have been able to share this message with you. Woo. Wow, you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go into um, Sagittarius's.
right, Sagittarius? Are you excited? If you have found this video, it is because you're supposed to be here with me. I've asked to have uh, to share a timeless message with you. Um, so thank you so much for clicking. In the description box below, we will have um, your affirmations and other other information that comes through for the reading. Okay, so. That Leo, the Leo reading got me thriving. All right, Sagittarius. Woo. What beautiful message for the Sagittarius is. Sorry about that. What beautiful message for the Sagittarius is fire. Our timeless element for the collective back to one. Sagittarius says, what do they need to hear from themselves when they find this video, please? What do they need to hear from themselves when they find this video? taking them all because look at this there's good things to come okay good things to come beauty gratitude they're all yellow okay so this is solar plexus um and it, like uh like lemon lemon candles or wearing yellow or uh, citrine or um, which is a stone a gemstone um, yellow will really help you with that solar plexus meditations are also really great uh, the solar plexus does a lot for our bodies that we got wonder okay with sanctuary as your bonus card. So it says, good for you. It seems you've earned some time away from the chaos of life. It could be as small as a bubble bath or as big as a trip, or maybe it's a small trip to a big bubble bath or a normal sized trip to a tiny bubble bath, or maybe you tripped and fell in someone else's bath, Sagittarius, whatever it is. It's waiting for you with open arms. Just pick your favorite sanctuary and unplug for a bit, especially if it bath is included. Okay, so it's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder. And when I'm a good audience of my life, my life becomes better and a better theater. So when something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. Great uh, gratitude. Today I'm grateful for all the little things. Even when the big things suck, there's always plenty of little things that I can at least be grateful for, like hot showers and music, the fact that humans invented the internet and I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to. Using fingers and thumbs to do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. And it's so cute. <laughs> Beauty. I'm beautiful when I don't think it. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. I'm beautiful no matter how many people don't say it. And I'm beautiful even if you don't know it. I am beautiful, which is why I don't have to try so hard to show it. Okay, beautiful peacock. So this is like, um, the reason why I type, the reason why they're in the drop boxes, so you're reading them, you're saying them, you, it's putting it more out to the universe for you, instead of me just saying it to you and you saying yes to it, um, so this way you can um, bring the good things into you and all this other amazing so these are because these are affirmations are what you need to hear so these are really amazing together 
There are so many amazing gifts coming my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general convention of not peeking under the wrapping paper, but they will show up when the time is right. And that's when I'll remember how much fun it is to be surprised. Look at you, Sages. Got some stuff on its way to you. And you get to enjoy a bubble bath, hopefully. Let's see what beautiful cards the Sagittarius fire element timeless message for the collective back to one from this amazing deck the sagittarius Woo! sagittarius is first off the rip is the the damn wheel card okay so stop struggling against destiny okay this is faded so something is the good things to come are faded that's to be Every time you're grateful, you're bringing stuff in to you. Remember that also. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Financial victory. Fin this is, she's busting off the carousel. I think the Leos just had this. Yes, they did. Okay, financial victory. Miracles. Oh my God, was on the damn wheel card, y'all. Sagittarius is be positive if you're feeling heartbroken right now just know like good things are coming change the wonder of your life the story of your life start speaking this gratitude say your i am affirmations because you are beautiful super beautiful oh my gosh I did not mean to just, um, oh, my music just shut off too. That's crazy. Whoop, Pisces energy. Or this is also about like using the emotions of others to get stuff done, okay? So if you're receiving the, t if you're doing the 10 of Pentacles, you might need help. This is um, a Libra energy, okay? So the Queen of Swords, this is this could be like more dangerous than perceived because instead of taking the cherry on top, they took the eye. Okay, so, but that could just be, um, just speaking of like a Libra energy because Libras do great, uh, bring great bounce most of the time. the Aquarius card the star card so um totally listen to some music maybe there's a message of some music there's definitely a song being played for you literally figuratively let's see anything else this beautiful Sagittarius is Woo! Okay, beautiful Sagittarius is we have the Ace of Cups. This is like a loving heart. And, and the, oh my gosh. So not only do you have it's faded and miracles, you also have the successful King of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy, but this is also like a form of success because they went at it with um, intellect instead of... Um, instead of uh, emotional response, okay? So they're using their head over emotional response. Yes, because there's been a sort of truth. There's some truth coming out if about something. Maybe that's what's, um, yes, because look at this. We've got two aces. And let's see what else. Final shuffle for the Sagittarius's. For the Sagittarius's, please. Okay, so we gained the Aries card with the Queen of Wands. This is a motherly energy. So, um, and okay. Oh, maybe the loss of will, pressure from others on the motherly aspect or an Aries aspect 
planning and strategizing is super important. This is a Gemini energy also. shuffle holy shit another ace okay so we have multiple ones this is definitely going to be linked down below as an angel number okay repeating ones is amazing okay this is passion and creativity oh my gosh look at this okay remember that ten of pentacles that ten of pentacles followed by the, another gemini card the ten of swords this is moving on this is moving on, moving forward from a hard time, moving on from a hard time, financial victory. So there's a form of celebration. The steps you've already taken has led you to your current place. That's the key to liberation. You've done this. You have done this. Sagittarius is be positive. Like even if it doesn't feel like it right now because of the sword of truth, the pressure from others, the heartbreak, you know, like, good things are to come. They just said it. Let's see what badass rebel card, actually. Okay, so the seven of swords. So there was an unstable situation. There was, it looks like somebody was spying on somebody. And look, we have the temperance card. This is your card. This is the Sagittarius card. And holy shit, seven on the bottom, seven on the bottom, seven on the top. Sevens, um, like, reflection, knowledge. Scattered energy or surprise. Here's a Leo card, okay? So the strength. Like, know, like, if you are fighting against evil, like, know that that good does come out on top. Oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so like spiritual downloads okay every time we go into a new moon it brings new knowledge to us totally totally I totally suggest meditating to the solar plexus for this new moon that's coming up because it's going to be double Taurus energy yeah this is amazing so multiple sevens Seven eleven, if that means anything to anybody. The multiple ones. We have multiple tens, which is more ones. Holy shit, Sages. This is really, really great. I um so don't forget to check the Dropbox down below. I hope you've gained the utmost guidance from this beautiful reading. Remember, no matter what you're going through right now, that you've been granted strength, that you have the strength. Good things are to come. <laughs> and you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Maybe even an affirmation for the gratitude is that I am grateful to, to be me, that I am now. Because you've had growth. The financial victory just doesn't happen. You've had growth to get there. You're moving on from a hard time. You've already gained judgment. So thank you so much, Sad. I am excited to see you again. Stay positive. Thank you so much for being here. Peace. <laughs>